हेलो एवरीवन आई एम नैना डोगरा आई वेलकम यू ऑल इन दिस चैनल सो इन दिस चैनल वी हैव टू स्टार्ट अवर इंपॉर्टेंट इनिशिएटिव एंड द प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चंस विच आर देयर इन जोआ आईटी एग्जाम वन बाय वन वी हैव टू डिस्कस ऑल द क्वेश्चंस इन द एग्जामिनेशन सो लेट्स स्टार्ट अवर प्रीवियस ईयर क्वेश्चन सीरीज सो अवर फर्स्ट क्वेश्चन इज रिलेटेड टू कंप्यूटर which is the primary goal of computer system is to turn data into first option is idea second option is suggestions third option is information fourth option is reports if i talk about computer system so idea suggestion and reports are not related to it so our right option is third option information primary goal of computer system is to turn data into information information means set of data so move to our second question which of the uh, in which generation of a computers did multi programming start multi programming is just a language so in which generation the computer did multi programming start first option is first generation second generation third generation and fourth generation so if i talk about first generation so first generation is basically related to machine language second generation is related to assembly language third generation is related to procedural language procedural language means multi programming language it means our right option is third generation and if i talk about fourth generation it is related to non procedural language third is related to procedural language procedural language means multi programming language so our right option is third generation so which of the following is the smallest of following computers means which is the smallest of following computer first is desktop second option is notebook third option is desktop and fourth option is work station and first option is laptop so which is the our right option so smallest of following computers so our right option is notebook second option is the right option so move to our fourth question generally which button of a mouse here we talk about mouse is used for okay first is left right middle and wheel which is our right option so mouse is used of for okay so right option is first option left left button of mouse is used for okay move to our fifth question which device can understand the difference between data and programs first option is input device second one is output device third one is memory and fourth option is micro processor so if i talk about input device input device is basically a equipment to provide a data and allow a data to enter into a computer simple and if i talk about output device so output device is a hardware you can say it is a equipment which gives out the result of entered input and if i talk about memory all as you all know memory it is a storage in computer storage space in computer and microprocessor microprocessor where the data processing logic and control is included on ic ic means integrated circuit so that is microprocessor so our right option is fourth option which is microprocessor so microprocessor is basically a device which able to understand the difference between data and program because it control is included on ic ic means integrated circuit so move to our next question which of the following is a part of system unit here we talk about system unit first option is floppy disk second is monitor third is cd rom and our fourth option is cpu so which of the following is a part of system unit if i talk about floppy disk floppy disk it is a simple thin plastic disk coated with the magnetic material and main purpose of floppy disk is to store data 
so here uh, the right option is fourth option cpu because cpu is a part of system unit move to our next question an electronic path that connect one part of a computer to the another so first option is logic gate second is serial port third option is modem and fourth option is bus so our right option is bus because bus is an electronic path which basically connect one part of a computer to the another and if i talk about serial port serial port is a serial communication interface it is a in communication interface through which information in and out sequentially one bit at a time so that is serial port so our right option is bus this is a easy question which are there in examination so move to our eighth question which of the following computer language is appropriate for commercial purpose here we talk about commercial purpose <coughs> so our first option is pascal second is cobol third is basic and fourth option is fortran so our uh, right option is cobol because cobol is a computer language which is appropriate for commercial use move to our next question the smallest unit of computer memory this is a very easy question and the smallest unit of computer memory first is byte second is bit third option is mega byte and fourth option is none of these so the right option is bit as you all know bit is a binary digit binary di di digit means smallest unit of data and if i talk about byte so byte is a unit of digital information and byte is a collection of 8 bit collection of 8 bits one byte is equal to 8 bits and so our right option is smallest unit of computer memory is bit in seventh question the compiler translates a program written in a high lev level language into first option is machine language second is algorithm third is debugged program and fourth option is none of these so if i talk about compiler compiler is basically a special program that translates a programming language source code into machine code programming language source code into machine code and if i talk about algorithm algorithm basically a set of rules you can say that uh, must be followed when solving a particular problem and if i talk about debugged program debugged program is a program that allow you to step through another program one time at a time means one line at a time so it is basically a program that allow you to step through one program to another program at a time so that is debugged program so compiler is basically translates a high level language into machine language so first option is the right option move to our second question third uh, 11th question so in this question ms dos dos means disk operating system microsoft disk operating system the command that is used to clear the screen is first is cls clear clear screen and by so our right option is here we have to focus on command so it means cls cls is the right option first option is the right option so move to our next question when more computers are connected at one place it is called more computers first is lan second is ban third is bone and fourth option is don this is very funny option bone don van and lan this question is not related to our 
कंप्यूटर सिस्टम वोन एंड डोन सो वी आर लेफ्ट विद टू ऑप्शन लैंड एंड वैन वैन मोर कंप्यूटर्स आर कनेक्टेड एट वन प्लेस वन प्लेस इट मीन्स अवर राइट ऑप्शन इज लैन लोकल एरिया नेटवर्क मूव टू अवर थर्टींथ क्वेश्चन द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पावरफुल कंप्यूटर इन अ टिपिकल नेटवर्क फर्स्ट इज नेटवर्क स्टेशन सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज नेटवर्क क्लाइंट थर्ड ऑप्शन इज नेटवर्क सर्वर एंड फोर्थ ऑप्शन इज नन ऑफ दीज सो हेयर द मोस्ट इंपॉर्टेंट एंड पावरफुल कंप्यूटर इन अ टिपिकल नेटवर्क इज आवर राइट ऑप्शन इज नेटवर्क सर्वर सो मूव टू आवर नेक्स्ट क्वेश्चन An alternative name for the complete interconnected network topology. Here we talk about topologies. So first is mesh topology, star topology, tree topology, and ring topology. Let's discuss all these type of topology one by one. So first one is network topology. Here the word is network topology. It is basically arrangement of network that comprise nodes and connecting. uh lines by sender and receiver one side is the sender and second side is for receiver and it is a basically arrangement of networks that is known as network topology and first option is mesh topology mesh topology is related to local area network uh, type topology and if i talk about star topology star means it is a hub distribution paradigm in computer networks hub distribution of paradigm in a computer networks that is star topology and if i talk about tree topology it is basically a type of network topology that resembles as a tree so that is tree and ring type topology means network configuration where device connection in a ring means circular data path so our right option is here the examiner asked the alternative name for the com uh, completely interconnected network topology so our right option is mesh topology that is local area network topology so first option is the right option so move to our 15th question so in this question a word is in a web page a word in a web page when clicked and opened another document is first option is anchor second is url th third option is hyperlink and fourth option is reference so here we talk about ms word and if i talk about anchor anchor is basically easiest ways to make a podcast all of you know about podcast it is the easiest way to make a podcast and url means uniform research locator and if i talk about hyperlink it is basically a link is a digital reference to a data that user can follow or we guided by clicking or tapping something else so it is hyperlink is basically a link digital reference so here word in a web page that, uh, when clicked and open another document it, that is simple so our right option is hyperlink so third option is the right option move to our 16th question so in 16th question when you cut and copy information it gets placed in a clip uh, clip art clipboard internet and motherboard so when you cut and copy information so that is placed in a clipboard so second option is the right option clipboard is a right option so move to our 17th question which type of a file is created by a word processing program first one is data file second option is storage file third option is worksheet file fourth option is document file so our right option is document file fourth option is our right option because document file is a file where you create word processing program move to our 18th question this is a very important question which are there in a examination which of the following device 
used a set of beads to represent the unit of data first is univac uniac uh, second option is ridvac third option is abacus and fourth option is mark 1 so if i talk about uniac first of all you have to know the full form of all these terminologies so first is uniac uniac the full form is electronic e stands for electronic n stand for e stands for electronic n stand for numerical i stand for integrated a stand for and and c stand for computer so uniac means electronic numerical integrator and computer and if if i talk about idvac idvac e stands for electronic discrete electronic discrete variable automatic computer d stand for discrete b stand for variable a stand for automatic and c stand for computer note it down one by one uniac means electronic numerical in integrator and computer and idvac stand for electronic discrete variable automatic computer and if i talk about abacus it is a very popular asian tool to uh, used for calculation and if i talk about mark 1 mark 1 is basically a uh, ivm automatic sequence controller calculator so it is basically a calculator which is uh, ivm based on ivm automatic sequence controlled calculator so the question is which of the following device use set of beads to represent the units of data so our right option is our asian calculator which is abacus so in 19th question the expert system is characterized of which generation of the computer here we talk about expert system so expert system is basically related to our fifth generation 5g expert system related to 5g you can remember in this way so move to our 20th question the flow and timing of a data to and from the microprocessor is regulated by control pin as you know microprocessor the form of data which is follow and timing of data to and from the microprocessor is regulated so our right option is control pins as you know control unit controls all data it means it is basically related to control pins so first option is our right option and if i talk about 25 uh, first question which of the following is example of input device this is a very easy question first option is monitor second is scanner third is printer and our fourth option is speaker so input device so our right option of this question is scanner scanner is basically example of input device and all are output device and which of the following device produce the best quality graphic reproductions graphic uh, reproduction best quality of graphic first is laser printer second is inject print printer third is plotter and fourth option is dot matrix print uh, printer so if i talk about best quality so that is our plotter so plotter is the right option move to our next question so in the 23rd question which port here we talk about port means serial port parallel port agp port and fire buyer port which port can also used to connect two computers to transmit files so let's discuss one by one all these type of ports so first of uh, first is serial port serial port is basically a serial communication interface through which information transfer in and out sequentially one bit at a time that is serial port and if i talk about parallel port parallel port is uh, in which in uh, communicates multiple bits uh, simultaneously 
and one bit at a time it means that is serial port and multiple bit simultaneously that is related to parallel port and if i talk about agp first of all you have to know the full form of agp that is accelerated graphics port and buyer fire port buyer fire port is basically a high speed uh, computer data interface you can remember in this way it is a high speed computer data interface that used to connect pcs your personal computers and audio video devices so which of the following is our right option here uh, you have to connect and connect word is basically related to fire buyer port so our right option is fourth option fire buyer port so fire buyer port can also used to connect two computers to transmit files because it is a high speed computer data interface and it is basically used to connect pcs and your audio video devices so move to our 24th question <coughs> what is the main folder of storage device first option is platform second is interface third is root directory and fourth option is device driver so which of, which is the main folder of on a storage device and if i talk about root directory root directory means uh, first and top most directory in a hierarchy and you all study hierarchies and uh, so so root directory is a top most and first most uh, important directory in a hierarchy and if i talk about uh, device driver it is a basically a special kind of uh, software program that control a specific hardware device attached to a computer that is device driver so the question is what is the main folder on a storage device so our right option is root directory third option is our right option because root directory is the first and top most directory in a hierarchy move to our 25th question which of the following memories has the shortest access time shortest access time so this is a very easy question first option is ram random access memory rom read only memory cache memory and fourth option is magnetic core memory theek hai so all of you know about ram rom and if i uh, talk about cache memory cache memory is basically a supplementary memory system that temporarily stores files frequently uh, store files and information and data for only quicker uh, processing by cpu so you can say uh, cache memory is a supplementary memory system and it store file temporarily means short access time so our right option is cache memory and uh, if i talk about magnetic core memory magnetic core memory it is basically a, a predominant form of a random access computer memory you can say uh, this um, magnetic core memory is also known as core memory because it is a basically a, a random access computer memories of predominant form so so here the shorter access time of memory is cache memory because it store files in a temporary basis move to our 26th question which of the following is a binary number binary number means on off system 0 and 1 so first option is 36 second is 10 fourth option is 45 sec uh, fifth uh, fourth option is 29 and third option is 45 so as you know binary number means 0 and 1 it means 10 is our right option move to our 27th question so question is floating point representation is used to store boolean values second is real uh, integers sec, uh, third option is whole numbers and all of these so here we talk about floating point representations so our right option is real integers so move to the next question software is generally classified into which type of softwares software is generally classified into which type of software 
फर्स्ट ऑप्शन इज सिस्टम सॉफ्टवेयर सेकेंड ऑप्शन इज यूटिलिटी सॉफ्टवेयर एज यू नो टाइप ऑफ सॉफ्टवेयर this is also a part of uh, type of software utility software this is also a type of software application software it means our right option is all of these so let discuss one by one system software in system software it is basically designed to provide a platform for other software uh, for example system software means linux ms os operating system ya ms window so this system software basically designed to provide platform for other uh, type of software so if i talk about utility software it is basically designed to help and analyze and uh, optimize and maintain a computer so that is utility software and if i talk about application software means app software so it is basically designed to carry out a specific task there are different type of apps in the mobiles and pc so it is basically designed to carry out a special type of task so that is application software so all these are the type of softwares so next question is which of the following is and are called low level language low level language first option is machine language second is assembly language third is both a and b so our right option is both a and b because machine language and assembly language both are related to low level language move to the next question the translator is the best describe as an application software system software hardware component and none of these so as you know here we talk about translator so so our right option is a system software second option translator is basically a system software move to our 31st question so here is important software proprietary software is owned exclusively by a single company sharing mode a single user and freely none of these so if i talk about this type of software so it is owned by an organization or an individuals public domain type of software you can say proprietary software means public domain type of software and it uh, it is uh, owned by an organization you can say it is owned by an individual which is freely for distribution so freely for distribution so our right option is a single company because it is owned by an organization and also owned by an individual so our right option is the first option move to our next question what is the name given to the process of initializing a micro computer with its operating system here we starting initializing a micro computer with its operating system first is called booting booting uh, barn booting none of these as you know booting means to say restarting so booting is a process where uh, starting a computer and uh, initiating uh, by hardware such as a button or by a software commands so that is basically a booting and if i talk about uh, cold booting cold booting means a mechanism of starting a system after it has been turned off so it is basically a system after uh, has been turned off so that is cold booting and if i talk about warm booting it is a restarting a computer and it can be initiated using a operating system so basically so which of the following name given to the process of initializing initializing means that is booting here we uh, don't uh, talk about it has been turned off computer has been turned off or not so our right option is booting move to our 33rd question in this question a program in the operating system that does processor management is called first option is traffic controller second is dispatched third option is processor scheduler and fourth option is job scheduler so if i talk about operating system or a program that does a processor management here we talk about processor management so our right option is 
ट्रैफिक कंट्रोलर बिकॉज वी हैव टू मैनेज एंड मैनेज द प्रोसेसिंग सो प्रोसेसर मैनेजमेंट इज द प्रोग्राम विच इज रिलेटेड टू दैट पर्टिकुलर सिस्टम सो दैट इज ट्रैफिक कंट्रोलर सो मूव टू अवर लास्ट क्वेश्चन विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट विच ऑफ द फॉलोइंग इज नॉट अ टाइप ऑफ रियल टाइम ऑपरेटिंग सिस्टम so what is the meaning of rtos rtos means real time operating system it is it is basically operating system with the two key features two key feature means first option uh, first uh, feature is predictability and second feature is determinism you have to remember the both features of two important key feature of this type of operating system which is real time operating system first is predictability and second is determinism so which is uh, which of the following is not so first option is hard real operating system second option is soft real operating system complex real operating system and none of these so hard and soft is basically related to the rtos real time operating system but if i talk about complex relating real time operating system it is not related to uh, operating real time operating system rtos so our right option is third option so with this i am going to end the session thank you for watching